Welcome to part 1 of this FreeCAD beginner guide. You will learn the very basics of FreeCAD, from downloading the software to the most important settings. On the FreeCAD website, click the download button. Here you see the newest stable version that is available at the moment. You can choose between a direct installer and a zip folder. The direct installer is probably the easiest option. Click on one of the buttons to download. If you want, you can donate to the FreeCAD team after downloading. This is the zip folder that was downloaded from the FreeCAD website. You can place the parent folder somewhere on your drive in a folder called FreeCAD for example. In the bin folder is the FreeCAD.exe file located. From there you can start FreeCAD. Let's start FreeCAD. What you see now is a splash screen. No document is open yet. One option is to create a new document here. This button looks like a white and blank paper. You can see it here at the mouse cursor. But let's open a document for now. You can do that with this button. This is in .fcstd file. This is the standard file type for FreeCAD. Now go to Edit and then select Preferences. That's a very important menu in FreeCAD. Here you can change a lot of important settings, like navigation styles and color schemes. In the General tab you can change the language and unit system. So change it to what you want to use. Another cool feature is selecting a nice theme. You see I have a dark theme selected, but you can also select a light one. A larger toolbar is recommended. Then you can see the buttons better. At the moment it's set to large. Let's move on to the next feature. Another must-have is the combo view. You can select it here. The combo view has some important advantages. It's here, with the tasks located in the top menu. In the lower menu, you can change 3D model parameters quickly. This will often be necessary while using FreeCAD. Now select the document tab for another feature that may come in handy at a time. Here you can let FreeCAD open a new document automatically when you start it. Then you don't need to create a new document each time you begin modeling in FreeCAD. Just check this box to activate it. Now go to the Display tab. You can show the coordinate system on your screen. Check this box and click Apply for a preview. Each arrow represents an axis, X, Y, and Z. You can also add one to the origin of your model. You can see the other origin here. Personally, I turned them both off to have a clearer view. After unchecking the boxes, click Apply and you see the origins are gone. Now we move on to some graphical settings. Set this feature to MSAA 8X for the best result. Now you have very smooth looking lines in FreeCAD. Otherwise lines can look very rough. Move on to the Navigation tab. You can change the navigation cube here. It's the cube you see here at the top right corner. Don't you have such good eyes? Then you can make it bigger. You can change the size very easily. Also the position on the screen can be changed. Change it to the position you want. Currently it's at the top right corner as you see. The next setting is very important. It's about the 3D navigation. Gesture is a great option when you don't have a 3D mouse. It feels very natural. Hold left mouse button to rotate the model. You see how easy it goes? Hold right mouse button to pan. Also very easy. Right, pan. Left, rotate. 
right, pan. Now go back to the preferences menu again. Go to edit and then select preferences. Go to the display tab and select colors. Here you can change the background color. The background color is the black color that you see here. Go to the Sketcher tab here at the left side of the menu. Then select the Colors tab here. Wow, that are a lot of colors. It all depends on what colors you want to use for each feature. Now go to the Workbenches tab at the left side of the menu. Here you can change which Workbench FreeCAD will pick when it starts. Instead of Start, you can select your favorite workbench. The Part Design Workbench is very common. It has a lot of features you definitely need. The most important basic FreeCAD options have been covered. But there's another thing you need to know. Close this menu and go to the View tab at the top of the screen. Then go to Toolbars. Here you see which buttons are visible. They are located at the top of the screen here. If you deselect one, these buttons will not be visible anymore in your toolbar. Reselect it to make the buttons visible again. You see them reappear in the toolbar. Now you know how to set up the basics in FreeCAD. In the next video of this series, you will learn to create your own 3D model. Also check out my 3D printing channel where I post all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to check out my other videos and channels.